Aloha, I'm Monica here from monicaswanson.com. And today I have a special guest, my son Jonah. Jonah is 15, he's my second of four sons, and I'm really excited for him to join me today because I'm introducing a new series going on over at my blog, and it is all about conversations to have with your teen or tween now. The first conversation we're talking about is that of talking to your teen or tween about the topic of identity and image. It's a hot topic. If you remember your growing up years, which I do, it has always been a tough one, and especially now with the internet and social media, identity and image is just a big topic that kids wrestle with, so you might as well talk to them about it because they could really use a safe place to talk through their feelings and kind of work things out and have a game plan, really. The first thing I wanna do, though, is clarify the difference between identity and image. A lot of people use those words interchangeably, but they're actually two different things, and I always try to start with identity. So. Um, you might want to gather your kids around. Uh, I'm going to have Jonah share a little bit. And through um, this conversation, hopefully you'll be inspired to go talk to your own kids as well. So yeah. I'm going to ask Jonah to just tell us a little bit about what he would say identity is. Yeah, so identity is, in the most, the simplest way I could say it, it's, it's the inner core of who you are. And, and it's, it's unlike your image. It's, it's unchangeable, right? It's what you are... Um, created to be really and it's it's uh, unchanging and um your identity is we we are christians so we we believe that uh we are children sons and daughters of god and that's unchanging no matter what we do no matter what we think or our opinions of ourselves our, our identity stays the same right so good yeah. so basically if you are going through a hard time you get bad grades somebody doesn't like you you get unfollowed all of that may happen. We all have times in life where life gets shaken up. Will that change your identity? No. No. Not really, no. So for a kid to have that understanding, to know that at the core of who they are, um, they can be secure and that it is unchanging is really helpful, right? Mm. Kind of a foundation that can get you through everything. However, we still have an image to deal with. We have our self-image, which is how we think of ourselves, and then our image is what we put out there for the world to see. And, and your image is really the externals. It's your reputation. It's all the things you put out there. And that's important too. There's nothing wrong with talking about, thinking about your image. I know all of my boys have kind of wrestled with their image at times because we all want people to think good things of us. Even as adults, our image is important to us. And I think it's something good to be intentional about at all seasons of life. And so we talk about our image. Um, mostly, we talk about what we're presenting to the world because we may have a secure identity, but then we may be putting things out there for the world that doesn't match up with or line up with our identity. So um, your image is really the things that kind of make you who, who other people see you as. So for Jonah, what are some of the things that would make up your image to the world? Yeah, I love the ocean. So like surfing, spearfishing, uh, things related to the ocean. And uh, there's guitar and other hobbies that I like to do. People people perceive that to be my image. That's that's what other people and myself would picture my image to be. Right. And some of those things may change. Of course. Of you course. may you may not like the ocean one day. Yeah. And then if I if you, know. <laughs> you think <laughs> I, I don't think so. But something may change. Grades yeah. could change. Yeah. Friends could change. Of course, yeah. Yes. And with that, um, and if you base your emotions, your feelings, your sense of identity on your image, that's when things can get really tough. That's when yeah. kids can really have their world rocked and that's what we want to avoid by mm -hmm. having that strong identity. Yeah. So um, your image is who you put out there but you have to hold loosely knowing that it is changing Yeah. and you don't want to base too much on it. Yeah, like for example, if you were, uh, you had a huge sports career and one day you're you're basing your identity in your sports. One day you get injured and your sports career is over. And then where is your identity? Right. And and you you really have to you have to fill in your identity with something else. That's right. And it's it's empty, you know. It's super good example. And I think the same could be said for if your if your whole identity is based on your grades or on your popularity. Those things can change. So um, that's why we really encourage our kids to have their identity solidly based on an unchanging, um, the unchanging person that they are. Yeah. And then to put out the best image possible, we just encourage our kids to live each day working towards the person they want to be. And sometimes that just starts with conversations like, like um, 
you know, who, who do you want to be known for when you're done with middle school, junior high school? Or when you graduate high school, what do you want your reputation to be? And then to encourage kids to live each day making those small choices that add up to the big choices. Um, sometimes kids want a positive reputation, but then they're using bad language or treating people poorly or they don't take care of themselves and helping them connect the dots between what they hope to be known for and what they're doing each day is really a good idea. Yeah. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that of role models. Um, finding people that you can talk to your kid and say, you know, who, who's somebody that's a few years older that you'd want to be like? I think you boys have had some awesome role models. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of helped you cast a vision for like, I like the way that guy is. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start doing some of the things he's doing because I hope to be like him one day. So talking to your kids about role models, finding some healthy role models, super good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So this is just a conversation. There's no magic way to have it. It's a matter of sitting down and just saying, you know, let's talk about this. I know it's on yeah. your mind. It's on everybody's mind. So let's talk about it. And, and opening up that conversation. I know I've had some parents email me and say, I'm just awkward. I don't know how to go there, how to have the conversation. And I just say, you got to bust through the awkward. And you, you can even say, hey, we haven't really talked about this before, but I'd like to talk about it because I want to walk with you through this season of life. And I think it's just super important. So I encourage you parents to have those conversations. Like I said, you remember what it was like growing up and now uh, the social media and internet makes it like 10,000 times harder. Yeah. And Jonah's never known life without the internet. No. <laughs> really. Social media has been a part of their life as long as they can remember. So yeah. that's crazy, but it's, it's what it is. And so bless their hearts. They could use some encouragement and support from you, mom and dad. So I hope you'll give it to them. I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel as well, as I hope to keep hopping on with a kid or two to talk about conversations to have with your teen or tween now. Yeah. So aloha. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.